Welcome back to the Bookends YouTube channel. I'm James McGowan. I'm Jessica Faust. Um, yeah, so today we're talking about how much control a creator, uh, author, or illustrator will have throughout the pro the, through the publication process, specifically from when you get an agent on. Yep, that's what I was going to say. I would say is my one big bit of advice to all authors and illustrators is that at the end of the day, it's your name on the book. So, you know, it's that's something important for you to remember if something that an editor or an agent is asking you to do really sits wrong for you and feels really against your brand then I think that's something you need to consider because it's not an, your agent's name on your book and it's not your editor's name on your book it's yours um so that's the most important thing um that being said, um, I think you also need to figure out, you know, you need to sit with that and also figure, well, are what they say are saying, does that make some sense? You know, would that revision help my book? Is that the right title for the market, even though I loved my title? You know, um, I just had a conversation with an editor um, and the author. We got the book cover for the author's third book in the series. And it's very different from the first two, but it's kind of not. And immediately the author and I got the book cover and we both thought, oh, and we sat with it and we talked a little bit. And what we realized was it was just so different from what we expected. Right. But that didn't, but it, on its own, it was a fantastic cover. And we talked about things like, well, how are the readers going to perceive this? You know, I think actually, because it's different, you're still going to keep your core readers, but you might find some new readers who might come to the series because of this cover. So we had a really sort of detailed conversation of all sides. And at the end of the day, the truth is it's a great cover. Right. So we both said to the editor, let's run with this. This is a great cover. I think every creator is going to have that moment of this is what I expected my book is going to be. This is how I pictured the plot working out. This is the name I pictured the character would have. This is the title, the cover, the font, everything. Um, and there are a lot of different people and teams and, and departments of a publisher that will weigh in and sort of tweak that as you go to make what is the final product of your book. And you said this yesterday, um, sometimes the best thing you can ask is why. Like, what yeah. is the reasoning for, okay, now we want to change the title. Why? Like, what are you looking for in a title? What yeah. does that title do that mine doesn't? And it's a matter of, like, understanding that creatively you want your book to be everything you want it to be, but you also want it to be that way in a business as a product because that's what it is and that's what's mm -hmm. going to attract readers. So is there something in my title that didn't work that you're, you're hoping another title can sort of pull out and then how can I sort of do what's best for the book in that case? Yeah and I, I think that's really important. I think it's also important to remember that your agent, your publisher, and you are a team. Yes. They want your book to be just as successful as you do. Right. And they're coming at it from their different experiences with other similar books and authors you know, input from booksellers. I mean, we've had entire covers changed at the last minute because bookstores said, I don't think we can, you know, we're not gonna be able to sell this book with this cover. Think of how many books get a different cover when they go to paperback. And that's a business decision. Yeah. yeah, exactly. So, you know, I think it's important to remind yourself of that, that, you know, everybody is in this together. I mean, at the end of the day, we are all, financially tied together <laughs> and the success of this book is a win for all of us so we are all coming up from different perspectives um your publisher and your agent want you to be happy so you know if something's not making you happy you do need to speak up and let them know yeah. but you also need to be open to listening as we hope they are and we are to your concerns yeah, nobody in this um, process wants a creator who has poured everything into a book to get that book and get on that first unboxing and just be displeased with anything. That's what nobody correct. wants. Correct. So, and I, I will tell you that I think 
this is understandably a concern of authors. I mean, I think you probably heard stories of authors who weren't happy. I would also say in my many, many years in this business, that makes me sound so old, um, and the many books and the authors I've represented, most of the time people are really happy. They're really happy with where things end up. Yeah, and even if they're not initially, because that happens a lot where they're just like, oh. And then like the story you just said, where that cover, you come around to that cover and the more you see it, the more it's like, yeah, that's my book. And you just, it it just manages to grow on you and make sense and all click into place once you see it together click into place. Yeah, and what I would say is go back to something we've talked about a lot. I know we talk about it within bookends a lot, which is the 24 hour rule. Yes. And you know, the 24 hour rule comes into play, especially in youth sports. You're not supposed to complain to a coach until you've given yourself 24 hours to cool down. But I think it pertains to anything that brings up emotion in life. And it any emotion, a, positive or negative. Yeah, I was just gonna say, it could be anxiety, it could be displeasure, it could be anger, it could be confusion. Give yourself some time to sit with that thing that you've been asked to do yeah. to determine why it's bothering you. You know, before you ask anybody else why, ask yourself why. Why is this bothering you? Is it just because in your head you had envisioned something and now it's different and is different really wrong? Or is it just different? Um, so I think there's a lot that can go into it. But I want to get back to the core question because I, you know, we've sort of talked about how to handle situations where you might be unhappy, but I don't think what we've really answered is how much say does a creator have? Right. And um, I would say contractually, typically you have um, consultation over title and cover, but most authors um, and illustrators don't necessarily have approval, which means that if it is a head-to-head -head situation you're not thrilled with it, but the publisher is, you will likely not get the final say. They will listen to what you have to say, but they might not fully make the changes you want. So that, that's just the reality of it. Um, but again, I want to assure you that most of the time authors have been happy in my experience. Um, and again, like you it, said, nobody wants an unhappy author, so the publisher will try and do what they can. Correct. And if it's an editorial change, and let's say your editor, um, I'm going to use editor for right now. I will talk about agents too. If your editor wants you to make a change editorially that you really strongly disagree with and don't want to do, I would say most of the time, unless it's potentially a legal issue or a huge concern, you know, the editor's going to at some point just say, okay, it's your, your name on the book. We will put it through. Um, if it really comes down to it, they do have a right to cancel the contract, but so do you. You know, if it's a real problem, you both have a right to cancel the contract so that you still have that sort of control. Um, and I would say the same holds true of an agent. You know, we at Bookends do a lot of hands on work with authors before we send a book out on submission. And there have been definitely times, I've had a few, not very many. But a couple instances over the years where I felt very strongly a book could not go out until something was done. And the author felt very strongly that they didn't want to or didn't know how to or couldn't do the work. And at the end of the day, the best answer was to part ways. Again, I've done a lot of books, I've represented a lot of authors. Those are very rare instances. Um, right. Most of the time we can all come to a center ground. A yeah. Ground. So if there's anything else you're wondering about this, don't hesitate to put it in the comments. We would love to hear from you. Um, but we hope this was helpful and we hope this puts a lot of creators at ease a bit. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe to the videos and we hope to see you back here next time.